What's going on, everybody? Um, I'm going back to help my grandpa once again today. Um, it's uh, not quite a week yet, almost a week, I guess. Like one day shy of a week since the last time I went and helped him. Um, we uh, The last time I helped him, we were planting corn. Today, looks like we're not gonna be planting. We didn't get all the corn planted last, um, last week because we only got like actually a day of planting in before the rain started, so. That was kind of unfortunate. We still got about 130 acres or something left to plant, but today we're just going to be working to be on the bean ground. Um, the, on the corn ground, it's still too just a t little bit too sticky yet to be planting, so we're just going to start working some of the bean ground, or which would have been the corn ground from last year, if, if, the, if you guys didn't know that. But uh, that's what I'm headed up there to do. I'm going to go meet him. He's already started right now. I'm just going to go meet him and switch him out so he can go do some other things. And yeah, we'll see what else we can do. All right, we've been going. I've been going a couple rounds. I came over and switched out my grandpa from being, he had started over here because he just wanted to see if it was gonna work or not. And uh, when he called me, he was actually already over here. So if I were to come switch him out, he's actually gonna go uh, drive around and look at, look at a couple other places as if they'll be dry enough to work or not. So we may actually get to work quite a bit of ground today. We'll see, he said if, if he's, if uh, quite a bit of it's dry, you actually might hook the uh, other cultivator up and uh, go, go start working somewhere else and we'll just we'll run both of them today and see how much we can get over because it's supposed to rain. There's a small chance in tonight and then tomorrow and then today's Tuesday. So Friday and Saturday, there's a really good chance of more rain. So I, that's kind of a bummer, but that's just the way it goes. So we'll just kind of see how much ground we can get over today. and. Uh, go from there i was actually I, I meant to record some more for you guys on the way over here but it's super super windy outside today and uh so you guys probably wouldn't have been able to hear me at all plus i was in uh i was in a side by side all the way over here for a few miles and obviously you guys probably know how loud they are so you guys probably wouldn't have been hearing me at all so i apologize for that but i'm gonna keep going at this i got another little patch back in the corner over here so we'll see how much we can get done today one thing I wish I had, like I do down at work, is tracks on a tracks on this tractor. I do big uh, case plot tracks down at work where I normally work my normal job, and the ride and, and the comfort of those and the cab going across the field is just is unbelievable. If, if you've never ran in any track tractor, honestly, even a John Deere or a Cat or any any track tractor for that matter, is it's the ride and like i said it's just so smooth and so soft across basically anything um obviously they're all different like the like the john deere and cat tractor only have two tracks compared to the case which have four and in my opinion i've ran all three of those i've ran a cat i've ran a case, uh, john deere and i've ran the case blood tracks and in my opinion the case beats them all um, and not and i'm not just saying that because i'm partial to case and i like case but it's just from my experience running all three of them, the uh, the comfort and how smooth they ride, like I said, the, the case beats them all. And that's just my opinion. I'm sure I'm sure everybody else has their own opinions about it. If they've ran all three or whatever, and I'm sure you guys, if there's somebody that sees this video that has ran all three, you, you may have a different opinion. I mean, they're all still, compared to a wheel tractor like this one, which has the row crop bills on it, um, the track machines just, just beat these completely out of the water. I mean, it's, it's really a non-comparison. You, you can't really compare them, honestly. Floater tires compared to these row crop ones, which if you guys don't don't know, the, these row crop runs are narrower and compared to the floater tires, which are which is why they call them floaters. They're much wider and bigger, um, and they kind of it's a little bit smoother ride with with, uh, with the with the floater tires compared to the row crops. But when it comes to tracks compared to wheels, there's just no comparison. There's really no competition at all.
All right, we finished up with the front patch here. As you guys see, we're folding up right here to, there's another patch back over here behind the other side of these trees. There's a little corner patch. There's probably, I don't know, 20, 30 acres at that. Somewhere back over there. But we got the wheat. The wheat's looking really well, or really good. Um, it'll be, I'd say, next two, three weeks, probably be cutting wheat around here. Unfortunately, we have to fold up. I wish I could just drive back there without having to fold up, but we got to fold up and move back there. So we'll go get that done and then uh, head out into the next field. All right, guys, we just got back from eating lunch. Uh, my grandpa's taking off. He's gonna go. He actually already got the other cultivator hooked up, the smaller one, and he's gonna go start on another patch, which after I get down here, that's where I'm headed. I'll be headed over to where he's at. We'll be running two of them just to try to get over as much ground as we can today because it's supposed to rain. There's a chance in the morning. It's just kind of a smaller chance and we looked at the, we watched the news and stuff at lunch and it showed it. We're probably gonna go north of us, but you never know with rain. So hopefully, hope little misses. That'll give us a couple of dry days and then on Friday it's pretty well. There's no really getting around that rain it's pretty much gonna rain so but if we get if it don't rain tomorrow we should be able to actually start playing corn again maybe late tomorrow afternoon and uh into thursday for sure if not you know if, if we can't tomorrow but that's what we're hoping for anyway that it doesn't rain we'll try to get over as much much of the bean ground as we can today that way if it does rain it'll all it'll be worked up and just slow the slow the weeds down pretty much is what we're trying to do at this point Get it ready for when it. Get it ready for when we go to start playing beans anyway. So we'll just have to see what happens with the rain and just do what we can. I tend to find these quite often when you're working ground. I just actually just finished up this little patch in the back and just come across the headland and look down and saw it, so I went and grabbed it. But these are, like I said, you find them. About the easiest way to find them is working ground. A lot of these places, and uh, it's kind of good because. On wheel tractors, they uh, they tend to stick in the tires and ruin your tires. So I try to pick them up, try to look for them as best as I can, so I don't ruin the tire. They're pretty easy to find when you're working around. Take it too long at all with both of them. 
so uh, it didn't take us very long to get these two fields at all. It took us maybe an hour at the most. Actually, the timing was perfect. He got done at the same time as I got done pretty much, so we're headed over there to see, uh, to get that done, and, and that should be it for the evening, so I guess we'll see. It's kind of a rare occurrence for my grandfather's never, he hardly ever puts two tractors in one field, so I must be because of the rain or something, I don't know, but we, we're in the same field now. Like, as I said, we took both of them over here, which I didn't really expect them to uh, put them both in the same field right at the same time. And then also our neighbor is over there across the road, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but he's got his cat out there with a the turbo tail on, basically doing the same thing we are. it was kind of an eventful uh, afternoon or evening I guess after I talked to you last I hadn't I didn't get to record much after that because I was busy but my uh, we had where we were working we had fresh terraces built back in the back in the fall and he and my grandpa dissed them down and worked them everything else and they we look like fine the field was dry he had a couple little soft spots you know but he ended up getting on top of one of them and then bur burying the, the tractor that he was in We had to stop, unhook mine, the 9130, which is what I was running, the four-wheel drive, unhook it from the cultivator, hook onto it, and uh, luckily my uncle was off work and my dad was off work, so they brought us the tow rope. We got it hooked up, broke the tow rope actually, so then we were kinda, didn't know what the hell else we were gonna do after that. I hooked a couple chains together, and luckily, all it, it really wasn't that bad. All we needed was just a, a little bit of pressure on it to help it get pulled out. I mean, it was, it was buried but it that the four-wheel drive all you just needed a little bit of pressure on it to uh to get it yanked out and and back back on the dry or solid ground i guess because it, it was dry it just the fresh terraces and all the rain we've had i guess just uh made them super soft but made it work got everything got the field finished up got all the terraces worked out even though they're basically like death traps right now i have i had to work all the terraces out and Man, it was, it was kind of sketchy going across the top of them, sinking in and everything, but we got it done. And that's definitely gonna be it for the video. I'm headed home now to eat. Start editing this video and maybe have it maybe have it edited tonight. I should have it edited tonight and I'll have it uploaded tomorrow for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed, leave a like if you did, comment what you think. Um, I'll, I'll include a picture. I've got a picture of, that of my grandpa getting stuck tonight. So I don't have any video, but I'll include a picture of that. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.